Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR, and you are checking out a Serum Tip and Trick tutorial video. So I've been going through some of the different little kind of pro tips and tricks that you can find nestled in the menu window, and we're, we already did a tutorial here on the Render Oscillator A and Render Oscillator B Warp. In this, we are going to be checking out the resample mode. So like resample to oscillator A, resample to oscillator B, or resample to A plus B stereo. So this is a really cool feature. Again, this came out with a update to Serum. It wasn't stock Serum. It was 1.6, I think like 1.7, I want to say, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, what we're looking at in this video is we're going to be looking at how you can take whatever you're doing in the synth, for instance, like to oscillator A, oscillator B, the noise oscillator, the sub oscillator, and what, and then you can basically, what this does, this resample to oscillator A, resample to oscillator B, it's going to play the sound in Serum for one bar render it to RAM, and then import all of that as a wavetable. Now, the cool thing is it'll even grab uh, your your effects, which is really cool. So I have some distortion on the sound. It's got, got a big sound going, got a lot of different effects. Uh, got the multiband compressor. Let me play it real quick. All right, so that's the sound. So again, this is coming from two oscillators. Uh, I have FM from B occurring on this one. And I have a ramp up position here occurring on the uh, wavetail positions because I want you to see how this is going to sound because what's going to happen is Serum is going to play one note of that bar. So it actually, I think it works better if you create like a uh, one bar ramp up in one of the LFOs to kind of use as like an envelope to control the sound so then you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so let me actually take off the LFOs on uh, some of the, on the FM from B. Okay, I'm going to do that same thing here on the bend. And let's go to our our filter here, because this is going to resample the filter, it's going to resample everything. Let's bypass the modulator. All right, so let's not worry about having that on the second oscillator. Let's just leave that static because I'm using the basic mini shapes, and there's some hard glitches kind of in between that because it's not a, uh, it's basically just meant to be used as analog waveforms. So let's bypass the modulator. So this is what we have. And I'm actually going to modulate the cutoff with that ramp up. Okay, so we're going to render this, everything that's going on. The sub, the noise, oscillator A, oscillator B, the effects. We're going to render that to oscillator A so we can keep oscillator B how it is. So take a, take a little snapshot in your, your head of what oscillator A looks like. I'm going to go to menu. I'm going to go to resample to oscillator A. Serum does its thing. And now we have a brand new wavetable. Okay, so let's actually investigate this now. I've turned off oscillator B and we're going to have LFO1 still modulate through the wavetail position here. And let's turn off the filter just so we're in the sub and the noise. And let's just turn off the different effects that we use just so we can hear how much information is actually in this, this uh, wavetable we just created. Right, and if we bring back in oscillator B, the filters, and we bring in the effects, I don't remember what effects I all had, but I think it was these. Yeah, it's a really big sound. So it's a really cool way to create some custom wavetables. You can actually just go through different presets and you can actually just take, go to menu. We can go re uh, resample to oscillator. Let's do to oscillator B here. And you can create some really cool custom wavetables without having to put a lot of thought into it. And the cool thing is, is it's taking from the whole synth. It's not just what's going on in the wavetable is taking from the noise, is taking from the effects, all that sort of stuff. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.